shows nothing. I hate when people don't rewind their VHS tapes. What's up, ladies and gents? Today, we're going to Thailand, or tonight, I should say. It's like uh, midnight here in Toronto, and I'm just waiting in the airport to get on that flight, and obviously, the best part about every YouTube travel video is the time people spend in the airport. It sucks. So, we're just gonna do some fancy transition work, and I will see you guys in Thailand. Watch this. 22 hours later, we're in Thailand, finally. But wait, there's more. Now I have to wait for my buddy, so this trip's gonna be like 24 hours before I even get to start doing anything. Hey, thanks for showing up. It took forever. Oh, did it? Yeah, we were only waiting for like, I don't know, four days. <laughs> So we are all checked into our first hostel and let me just backtrack and say since I mentioned I was going to Thailand everybody's been telling me the same two things. The food is amazing and watch out for ladyboys. So naturally the first thing we're going to do is go hunt for ladyboys. Uh, I mean find somewhere good to eat. This is uh, Spats' money for the lady boy, uh, for dinner. Jeez, I keep mixing those up. All right, so we just sat down for our first meal at, what's this place called? Joy Luck Cafe. And I've decided that all the food that I show you guys, I'm gonna eat like that guy on YouTube, Mark Weens. I don't know if you've seen him, but every first bite is gonna be the best first bite I've ever had, so. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I don't know how he does it, I can't do that. All right, peeps, we just finished dinner. I'm gonna level with you. We've been traveling for like what feels like a month. So we're probably just gonna pack it in early today and I will pick up with you guys tomorrow. The water festival should be fun. I'm well rested. It's day two, which means we're going to the Ratchawat market and then it's the Songkran water festival. Let's just fast forward to that. The Ratchawat Market. It's, I don't know, like a market. It's not crazy or anything, but it's kind of cool to see how different it is from back home. Lots of like vendors and stuff, and I don't even know where I'm going with this, to be honest with you. I think my favorite part is that it's for like locals, so you get a lot of funny looks when you're walking around. A, because you're obviously not from here, and B, because you've got a camera the size of a small animal in your hand. A little bit further into the market, we found all of the good stuff, the super authentic, 100% not ripped off, amazing brand name clothing and accessories, and sick. Are you a fan of cover shoes? Well, we've got a sick bag to match. Rango, huge brand here in Thailand. Their logo looks familiar, but I can't quite place why. We made our way over to another market. This one's a little bit more quirky. Andrew, I met a lady for you. Are you gonna take her home? Sure. 100 baht. Goes from like lady mannequins to like windows and frames. Just your average crazy market. Do you need a giant stuffed T-Rex for your living room? And King Kong right beside him? We got you. Do you really miss going to school? Boom, desk chair. You can take that home. Make that part of your home office. I wish I had seen that sweet desk chair before I redid my office. So, market tours are done, and now, as you can probably hear, there's a crazy Songkran water festival party going on, and we're gonna join it.
let's just figure it out together. For the first stop of the day, we decided to hit up the Grand Palace, which from the outside looks beautiful. Downside is you can't wear tank tops, flip flops, or shorts. So considering Thailand's 10,000 degrees all the time, I'm dying right now. We haven't even started the day yet. We just got back from the Grand Palace. As a photographer, great place to go. Sick photo op. But, as you can see on camera, you're gonna sweat balls because you have to wear long pants and... I think uh, we might go to the abandoned ghost tower or whatever it is next, so... We didn't end up going to the ghost tower. But some reviews and some recommendations were that we go see a ping pong show, which is awesome because super fun to play ping pong. And what's better than live sports when you're in another country, right? Should be exciting. Wait, that is what a ping pong show is, right? In an attempt to forget everything that we saw last night and just erase that from my memory, we're gonna do a cooking class, which should be fun for you at home as well because I'll just tell you right now, I am no Gordon Ramsay. Do you wanna see me butcher something completely? Maybe burn something when there's not an option to burn? F up making popcorn and toast? I'm your guy. Let's do this, baby. So it looks like we're here. It's a cool little spot. I don't know what to expect, so check this out. Being the cooking expert that I am, I was completely wrong. That they just wanted to show us how rice paper was made. Okay, now we're actually in the thick of it. We're in the market, picking out the fresh ingredients. How does it smell? Chicken feet, anyone? Those eggs right there are fermented for 40 days. Black inside, apparently really salty. We're gonna try one. I feel like it's gonna be gross, but hey, gotta try it. Being in that market taught me a few things. Um, one, operates like a well-oiled machine. Two, there's a ton of ingredients involved in this shit. Three, it's probably gonna be the most disgusting vlog because I'm sweating like a pig. Look at this, I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally like Songkran Festival all over again and I've just been walking around. How is, it, how is it this hard? Yeah. <laughs> and we made it to our cooking station. Now the real fun begins. Who needs a culinary school when you have a sweet Thai lady teaching you how to do it? Ready for Master Chef. That's it. I'm the best okay. cook in the world. <laughs> you try this first, then. This what do I do? Egg. Just what? Here, tell me. What's happening? This is century egg. Century egg, age 40 days. Tastes it's not like bad. Egg. It tastes like egg. Yeah. It's scarier looking than it tastes for sure. It's like a hard boiled egg. Mm. Ooh, the aftertaste yeah, is different. I'm the greatest chef ever. All right, now the Tom Yum that I made. Ladies, watch out. I'm gonna cook you a nice meal. <laughs> she loves it. Tell them how easy of the making curry it. Making it is very hard. So if you want somebody to make it, come over, I'll make it for you. It's very easy to do. I'm not a chef by any means. Time to try the uh, spring rolls with the peanut sauce. Delicious. <laughs> But Andrew really f***ed up rolling them. Terrible rolling job by Andrew. Brutal. Like wide open. It's like a spring roll taco. Cooking class is done. Ladies, if you want a gentleman to cook you some awesome Thai food, let me know because I can recommend someone else to do it. I forgot everything that we learned. Alright, 
So we spent the day making our own food. Naturally, the only progression into nighttime is eating crazy that you would never ever eat on your own. Okay, here goes nothing. It's not that bad. It looks a lot scarier than it actually tastes. I'm not poisoned yet, but I'll let you guys know if I die later on. I guess I won't let you know, but try scorpion if you're ever in Thailand. All right, the verdict is in. Do not be afraid. I was kind of like uneasy, but it's nothing. But now, I've got a taste for it, and I kind of want to try more bugs and Might work my way up to tarantula. Who knows? Next food on the disgusting try list is durian. It literally smells like And let's see how it tastes. <laughs> it's worse than scorpion. I'll tell you that for free. Ooh, I'm out. Alright, Bangkok, you've been sick, but now we're hitting the night train. Overnight, we're gonna crash, and I will see you guys in Copenhagen. And we made it to Copenhagen, baby. It's like we're still on the ferry and it's gonna take another two hours. <sighs> Twenty hours later, we're finally at our place, and it's sweltering hot. So I'm gonna go take a swim. Now that I'm nice and refreshed, let's show you guys the place we're staying at. It's called Shirley Backpackers Resort. It's a dope spot. I recommend you come here if you're staying in Copenhagen in Thailand. And let's do some sick B-roll to check it out. So uh, do the, the, the bars thing. There we go. Oh, here we go. dope spot huh also I'd be kind of an idiot if I didn't show you guys what this island looks like during sunset apparently this section of the island has like one of the nicest sunsets on the whole island and let's look at the drone shots to prove it you tell me leave it in the comments below Alright, so I've showed you where we're staying, I've showed you the sunset, now it's the full moon party, which most people, that's the reason they go to Thailand. I'm not going to lie to you guys, as much as I want to show you that, I'm absolutely terrified to bring this thing out during that. So, I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. I don't know what planet I'm on right now, but we've got a travel day, so let's go. And we made it to Krabby, yes. Uh, it's a lot busier than the islands, that's for sure. Also, I apologize, I don't know if you guys actually wanna see me hanging out in the airport. I don't think anybody wants to see that. So I just kind of skipped that part. I mean, comment down below if you want to see me sitting in an airport for a couple hours at a time. Anyway, since we're in Krabby, we were told to go check out the night market, and that's what we're gonna do. So let's go. Boom, made it to the night market. We got cheap food, we got delicious desserts, and we've got all kinds of cheap shopping, and I figure, what better way to show you guys than some B-roll. Let's go. So, 
we're done. Night market was dope. Tried a whole bunch of sick food. If you're ever in Krabi, Thailand, I recommend you go there. Super cheap, lots of fun. I'm exhausted, so I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Oh yeah, magic telephone pole. Morning ladies and gents. Today, we're going kayaking, so naturally I'm not gonna bring this behemoth with me on account of being terrified of dropping it in the water. Switch into the GoPro mode. Ready, three, two, one. recommend it. It's not something you would think to do when you're in Thailand, you know, oh, let's go see the islands, let's party, but definitely give it a shot. Really cool. However, I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant now. Stay with me. Thailand hasn't exactly been the most photography driven trip for me. It's been more about like partying and stuff. It's a lot of cities and stuff, some street photography, blah, 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 but not really happy with it. That being said, um, if I had to do this trip again, probably would have done it a little bit differently. We spent very short times in a bunch of different places and I think that led to a lack of content creation. It was constantly on the move, constantly in airports and on ferries and stuff and it's just not very picturesque stuff. So my recommendation to anyone watching this who wants to go to Thailand and take photos and take videos is that you go and spend more time in fewer places or extend the length of your trip if you want to see a lot of places. Now, next thing on the list is to head to Koh Phi Phi. We're gonna take another ferry, so like I just said, lots of travel. See you on the boat. Two hours later, we made it to Koh Phi Phi. I kind of see what the hype is about. It's a pretty sweet place. I'm definitely gonna get the drone up in the air. This is dope. The streets are like tightly packed. There's a lot going on. It's pretty exciting here. I don't know what to expect. Probably end up with us being either drunk or lost. And I'm okay with that. That about does it for Thailand. Um, it wasn't exactly the most photography driven trip and I apologize for that. Hopefully, you know, you guys still enjoyed the adventure for what it was. If you're a photographer coming here, yeah, there's some cool stuff. If you're a street photographer coming here, yeah, you'll get a lot of pics. Point is, probably not my best vlog. I hope you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, hit that subscribe button so I can go on more adventures. And you know what? Let me know down below where you want me to go on the next one. I'm exhausted and I've got a 22 hour travel, trip, flight, taxi, waiting situation ahead of me. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya.